practice, practice, practice. That's the old Carnegie Hall idea, the old Carnegie Hall joke. Practice while you are in law school. Practice the exam. Take the practice exams during the year. Go through the hypos. Go through the, the, the entire process. Read some old exams and practice them because ultimately your, your, rec your day of reckoning is the day when you sit down with just piece of paper, your outline and a pen, or your uh, computer, and you will be uh, required to do your best. And it's like anything else. I'm a, like I said, I'm an old track man, and you know, we, we practice. We went to track practice every day, and we practice. And that's what you have to do uh, far more than you did it in college because of, of the essential differences in, in the importance of grades. And use your tools effectively. As I, I mentioned earlier, You'll have your case book, your horn book, your notebook, your commercial outlines, and you'll have, uh, I highly re recommend that you take, you, you purchase a copy of Black's Law Dictionary. It's the big, thick volume. It's worth the investment uh, because in most cases you have an alternative of, of purchasing a smaller volume of, of uh, a, a legal a law dictionary. Invest in the Black's. It's, it's definitely worth it. It's far more detailed. It's, it's a better way to go. Don't let life pass you by. Do not let life pass you by. There will be some things that will happen while you're in law school that will never happen again. Uh, you may have a situation where some of the greatest jazz uh, performers in, of, of, of all time are appearing on your campus. Uh, you don't want to miss that. And if a, if a jazz performer is, is on your campus, make sure you put in the time and you go to the performance. Don't miss it, okay? And, or, or whatever it is. Maybe it's a parade, maybe it's a party, maybe it's whatever special event is. Don't have a regret where something that was very important happened and you, you, know, you were studying. Uh, by the same token, if you find that you don't have the time, I'm sorry, you're going to have to miss that big event because you didn't put the time. So it's important that you, you, you strategize, you outline, you, you plan your schedule so that when these events come up, you have the studying done and you're able to participate in the special events. Work on your weaknesses. You will find that there are some things that you're not particularly good at. Those are the things that you have to work hard on. It may be your penmanship, it may be your, your studying habits, it may be your listening habits in, 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 cla in the classroom. Whatever your weakness is, that's what you have to work on the hardest because your weaknesses have to become your strengths. You have to be able to be strong across the board and the, one of the fundamental ways of doing that is to work on your weaknesses. Be confident of your abilities. As I said a moment ago, if you are smart enough to get out of college and you're smart enough to, been, to have been accepted to law school, you're probably smart enough to graduate. Only law school is different, okay? Law school is different in the sense that you're, you're, you're working on different kinds of, of skills and abilities and they're looking for certain things from you. It's not just about being smart. It's not just about being able to put in the time. You have to know how this system works and it's, it's fundamentally important for you to be confident of your abilities while you're going through this process. Always have a sense of where you are in your studies. Your casebook has an outline, and you'll be working on an outline, and your professor has an outline. You will have a syllabus. Be cognizant throughout this process of where you are. What, I mean, where are we in the middle in the contracts? Where are we in torts? Where, what, is this, what is this concept of, of, of restitution all about? Understand where everything fits in so that while you, you're, you're going through the, the micro, you have a, a, an understanding of the macro. You, you have an understanding of what the, what the big picture is, is all about. I had a friend in college who started law school before I did. And when he and I talked, just before I went to law school, he was giving me some advice, and I passed this on to you. He is now a judge. And he said to me, take copious notes. And I've never forgotten that. And I didn't forget it when I was in law school, and uh, I did all right. Take copious notes. When you are in law school, when you're sitting in a classroom, and, and, and the professor is talking, and, you, and, and he's asking questions, don't bury yourself you know, in your papers, but make sure you're taking copious notes. Make sure you're taking a, a, a large amount of notes because 
one of the things that happens in law school is that the professors will say something just once, one critical sentence. It might be subject matter, matter jurisdiction. It might be something having to do with constitutional law, substantive due process, whatever it is. He will only say it once, or she will only mention it you know, one minor time. But it's extremely important that you write down exactly what you're hearing, because that material will be on your final exam. Have a goal. I mean, understand that you're, you're going through this process for a reason. You're not, you're not doing it just, just to, you know, to pass the time. You're going through this law school experience for a particular goal, whether it's to be, become a, a trial lawyer or a tax lawyer, or maybe you want to you know, use your law degree for some other element of business. Whatever it may be, understand while you're in law school how what you're learning is going to help you when you graduate, how it's going to help you when you're, when you're in business, or how it's going to help you when you're in the courtroom. I met a, a gentleman when I was in Africa, and he made a comment that I've never forgotten. He was talking about his efforts as a young man. Uh, he lived in Kenya, and he used the phrase that he worked like a donkey, <laughs> and, and that summed it up for me because it reminded me so much of what I'd done when I was in law school. You work like a donkey. I mean, it's a, it's a, a huge burden. You're a beast of burden. It's a, it's a lot of work, and it's almost comical. It's almost, it's almost comical, the, the amount of, uh, of, of research and studying and effort they're expecting you to, to do. But it's not really entirely comical. It's not funny. I'm watching these squirrels chase these birds back here. That's funny. It is a tremendous amount of work you will find that you will have a huge burden. And the only way to do is put your head down and do the work. You've got to do the work. There's, there's, this is not the place where you can slide by. This is not the place where you can get over. This is not the place where you can finesse your way through it. That's not going to happen. You have to do the work. You must do the work. Put in the time and work like a donkey. You're a human being, you're a person. Your health is very important. Your fitness is very important. Your nutrition is very important. Eat a balanced meal, get a good night's sleep, go to the gym, take some walks. It's important that you understand that even though you have to do all this work, your body is only gonna be able to take but so much and you know, you're gonna have problems if you don't take care of your body. Go to the doctor on a regular basis. Go to the dentist. Go to the eye doctor on a regular basis. Take care of yourself because you're in this for the long haul. Men's sano and corpus sano, you know, that whole, that whole thing. Sound mind and a sound, sound body. You must make sure that you take care of yourself. You don't want to catch a cold the week before finals. You don't want to go on and take a trip and, and act recklessly and then come back and you're sick as a dog. That doesn't do you any good. Don't take the kinds of chances that you took when you were in college if, 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 if you were that kind of person. Make sure that you take care of yourself, that you eat well, you sleep well, you dress appropriately for the weather. I mean, it got so cold in Ann Arbor, Michigan, I can't tell you. I, it, the, the, the first October we were there, it snowed in October and there was snow on the ground until April. I was getting claustrophobia just walking across campus, okay? I had huge ski boots, I had a huge coat, sweaters, hood, the whole thing. Whatever it takes, that's what you have to do. Dress for the weather, make sure that you are, are appropriately attired wherever you go, and, and you'll be okay. And make sure that you, you have your, your tools, whatever your tools are. If you're going to have a, if you're going to use a laptop, you're going to take your laptop, make sure you, that's in, in good working order. If you're going to use a cell phone, Make sure you know your batteries are charged. Turn off your cell phones before you go to class. Make sure your cell phones are off. Make sure that you, you, you have beepers, if you have Blackberries or, or any other electronic devices, you put them aside. Don't let anything disturb the process of the Socratic method when you're in that classroom. Just you know, turn all that stuff off uh, and understand that law school comes first. Law school comes first. Law school comes first. You got it?